How you doing? I'm Callan and this is Slapped Ham. From a scary photo of a slasher mask discovered in an abandoned bathroom, to a creepy photo of some ghostly hands that appeared in a television. Today we look at some terrifying photos that are sure to send shivers down your spine. But as always, before we get into it, hit that subscribe button for more interesting, creepy content just like this. This scary photo was uploaded by Redditor Trogadorable22 in December 2012. They claim the picture was taken by their sister at a party they attended in 2000. Trogadorable22's sister and her friends swear they don't know who the little girl in the bottom corner of the photo is and say she wasn't there when the photo was taken. The girl certainly seems to be out of place. She appears to have blood red eyes and pale green skin. She has a frightened expression on her face very different from the others seen in the photo. Since the image was posted online, many people have suggested that the mysterious young girl might actually be a ghost. While others with a more skeptical viewpoint think that the photographer simply may not have noticed the girl standing there when the picture was taken. However, the story of this mysterious photograph gets even stranger. Trogadorable22 says the image follows the family wherever they go. When they all moved from Chicago to LA, the photo was lost, but when they moved again it resurfaced in perfect condition. Could this creepy photo also hold some sort of sinister curse, or is it all just one big coincidence? This photo was sent to us by Jay Lear on Facebook. It's a selfie taken by her son while standing outside his house near Oneida Lake in Brewerton, New York. The camera appears to have captured some kind of bizarre creature standing over her son's shoulder. It has glowing green skin and resembles some sort of insect. The creature looks as though it has narrow eyes and pincers extending from its mouth. Whatever the creature is, Jay Lear believes that it may somehow be attached to the house. The picture freaks us out, she said. It does not look friendly. Jay Lear used to live on the property with her son and ex-husband but has since moved elsewhere. She claims that she often experienced strange things while living there. The tools in the basement would inexplicably make noise, pets would pass away mysteriously, and she even saw a white, mean-looking face staring into the house through a glass door. What do you think the green-faced creature could be? Is it a ghost or possibly an alien? Or could it be some sort of bizarre creature that lives down by the lake that is yet to be discovered? Let us know your thoughts down below. This bizarre photo was captured in an undisclosed university somewhere in the US and was sent to us by Stephanie on Facebook. At first the photo seems fairly normal, just a little out of focus. However, Stephanie claims that the person visible in the middle of the picture wasn't there when it was taken. After experiencing something unusual in one of the buildings, Stephanie and three others decided to take a look around. As the group left the building, Stephanie said that two members were in front of her and one was behind. However, when she saw the photograph, she was shocked to see a dark figure clearly visible in the middle of the photo. The figure appears to be wearing a dark hood or cloak and has a white ghostly face. This isn't the first time strange things have happened at the university either. Some time ago, a group of paranormal investigators were said to have captured several EVPs on the property. However, the investigation was never made public. Who could this mysterious figure be? Is it the ghost of a former student or staff member? Or is it simply another member of the group who were investigating the university that night? This scary photo was uploaded to Reddit on the 25th of August 2016. It was posted by a now deleted user who claimed that they took the picture while working at a state park. They were exploring one of the abandoned buildings when they decided to check the bathroom. There, hanging from the shower curtain rod, they discovered this creepy mask. The mask looks weathered and misshapen, just like something out of a teen slasher movie. All that's missing from the photo, it seems, is a splattering of blood against the white tiles. While it's unclear whether the mask was actually used for something sinister or was simply placed there as a joke, the fact that it was found in an abandoned building in the middle of a state park is more than enough to scare anyone. 
This photo was sent to us by Kirsty Wheeler on Facebook. On Boxing Day 2018, she was taking photos of St Andrew's Church in Suffolk, England, when she noticed that she had captured something very strange in one of the images. Wheeler claims that there was nobody else in the area at the time she took the photos. However, there is clearly someone or something standing by the side of the ruins near the tall grass. The figure looks grey and old and has a wispy ghost-like quality about it. Wheeler believes that the mysterious figure might actually be the ghost of a former soldier, as there are several graves around the church that date back to World War I and World War II. What do you think? Is it possible that Wheeler has actually captured the ghost of a wandering spirit? Or is the figure little more than an optical illusion? There's very little information available about this photo, other than it was taken sometime in the early 1990s. It shows a young girl sitting at her desk, possibly drawing or writing, as a sinister face watches on through the mirror. The face appears to have dark, sunken eyes and a large, protruding mouth. Features that could possibly be consistent with an alien or even an ape-like creature. While the photo appears to be genuine and doesn't look like it's been manipulated in any way, the lack of information makes it difficult to speculate further. Could it be possible that the photographer has unknowingly captured the reflection of something sinister lurking in this little girl's bedroom? If so, what could it be? Without further information, we may never know. On the 10th of May 2014, Rhys Sava took this photo while attending a Michael Jackson tribute show at the Churchill Theatre in Bromley, UK. However, it wasn't until Sava was looking through the photos with friends two days after the event that he actually noticed the ghostly figure in the top right hand corner of this image. When I looked at it, I was genuinely shocked, Sava said about the photo. It was very distinct, not like other photos you see of that sort of thing. When the photo was posted online, it immediately gained attention with many viewers suggesting that the ghostly figure might actually be the king of pop himself. However, Sava remained skeptical, saying, I cannot say I believe in ghosts, but it is very spooky. Sava's mother, Angela, who was also at the tribute show, seemed a little more convinced, saying, The image is so clear. Sometimes you can see these things in photos. It is an image of something, but you're almost willing it to be something else. But you look at that and it's clearly a face and it does look like Michael Jackson. And the fact that it was a Michael Jackson event and there he was makes it all the more eerie. While several skeptics have suggested that the strange shape may be little more than light reflecting off balloons, there is no denying that it certainly looks like an eerie blue figure. But could it really be the ghost of Michael Jackson? Let us know what you think in the comments section below. Before we get to that number one spot and take a look at a truly eerie ghost photo, remember to hit that subscribe button and turn on channel notifications. That way you'll get updates about all our latest content. These creepy photos were taken sometime during the mid 1990s. The first picture shows nothing out of the ordinary, just a mother holding her baby while sitting on a bed. However, the mother in the photo, Myrna Munoz, claims that as they posed for a second photograph, her daughter became increasingly restless. If you look at the television in the second picture, there appears to be a pair of old, haggard hands inside the screen. You can clearly see the fingers and thumbs on each hand, and they look as though they're masking the lower part of a ghostly face that has dark, sunken eyes. Munoz claimed that around the time these photos were taken, her daughter would often talk and laugh to herself. Occasionally, she would point at something that she couldn't see and say, Grandpa. Munoz's grandfather had passed away sometime earlier, and she thought that it may have been him that her daughter was seeing. Munoz herself was able to recall several inexplicable events. I often would feel certain things like someone behind me, or at times our radio would turn on and I'd be alone. I at one time felt someone sit at my bed, and I thought I was dreaming, but I could actually feel the weight on my bed. Several viewers have speculated that this photograph may actually show the hands and face of Munoz's deceased grandfather. However, if this was the case, why would he appear in the television set? Could it be possible that he was trying to make contact with his family beyond the grave? 
If you want more scary photos just like this, we have an entire playlist embedded there full of creepy goodness. Leave us a comment down below letting us know which one of these photos spooked you the most. And that's it from me, I'll see you all next time.